Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use, cause you can't stop it from shining. Good morning, everybody! Good morning, everybody! Woo! 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 Monday. 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 It can't get any more Monday than it is right now. It is Monday. God, it's only Monday. Hey, hey you know what? First of all, high five. Ouch. And I've got you a present. Okay, what? Hey guys, Corey has completed things in his life, milestones. He drove today. He drove from Tarboro to Greenville. So I got him this trophy. It was made, and it reads, for driving from Tarboro to Greenville. You get, apparently you get second place for that. Somebody did it better than him. Better. Here you go. Somebody did it better than me, y'all. Hey, you do what you gotta Thanks, do. Thanks, Paul, for letting everybody know my, my life accomplishments for me. Day. That's why I'm here Thank for. Thank you for the trophy. This is magnificent. It is magnificent. I love it. Sweet. Love You're, welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome, Bo. Okay. Cool. There we go. Chris. All right. Huh? No, not all right. Chris did something awesome. Oh. Good yep. Chris, this trophy here is from your 1982 achievement. Okay. You didn't know it. No, you weren't alive. But I'd like to present you this 1982 trophy for doing something cool. Sure Thank you did. You. You're welcome, man. Congratulations. High five, Corey. My man. All right. Hey, it is Monday morning. We are glad that you're here with us. Uh, this is Corey. This is Chris. And I am Paul. And today you are here for your daily D6 morning motivation. Absolutely. So happy to be here, guys. It's Monday, but don't you fret. The summer has started. You guys should be out of school. We ended the week with a wonderful devotion that Friday. But I say over the weekend. The best one we've Yes, done. I have heard so many comments about that devotion. And I said, when we got to record, I said, I think it was the best one. And it was. But don't worry, we can always strive to top that one. And I think we can even do it tonight. So, yeah. But yeah, heck yeah, we're happy to have Chris here. Um, yeah. Absolutely. Paul's got some really nice little Hawaii things around his neck. I forgot I had, I was cleaning the gym. Apparently they're still on my neck. It's cool. It's all good up in the hood. Yep. Here you go. You know what? We're going to hand them out. While you do this random fact, we're going to do a transition of a leg. Hit that random flat. All right. So the random flat of the day. Go ahead and let's get it up. 95% of people text things they would never say in person. Never would, never could say in person. Wow. 95. 95%. So in other words, 95% of people just, well, there's no other way to put that. It is what it is. I mean, so, yeah, that's interesting. But I think, I feel like I kind of knew that already. Some yeah. people generally say things through text messages that they wouldn't say to your face. Um, I don't know. And I don't mean that to, to sound like, any, like you know, I'm just saying, like, some people just find it easier to get yeah. bad news through text or even good news through text or I don't know. Yeah, um, and that that's is. a transitional thing. Like, uh, some people, uh, an older generation, would not text certain things. Like, now, if you get married, like, we don't, a lot of people don't do phone calls anymore. They're like, hey, congrats on being married. Yeah. And, and that's, that's it. You've, you've made it. But that's acceptable in this that's generation. That's the problem I have. I'd, I'd rather use my words. I'd rather talk. I think texting is great. I text a lot. But I would rather talk to someone. I'm sure other people have that preference. Yeah, redundant tech. And I do the um, yeah, the, the microphone. You you tap it, and then you yeah. ultimately you're gonna have bad grammar. And I'm sorry if yeah. I text you bad it grammar. Doesn't understand. It, yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't it's understand, bad. Chris. I've got the British theory. Anyways, hey, um, we're moving on. We're moving on to the daily D6 devotion because that's why you're here. You're not here to learn that 95% of people text instead of voice um, or say things that they want uh, over text instead of voice. But you know what? That is a cool fact. Thank you for sharing. Daily D6 Motivation is coming out of John today. Yes, it is. It is awesome. John 14, verse 3, right? John 14, verse 3. It's a good one. It gives us hope. That's what the theme has been for June. So, without further ado, let's get it up. up. So, in John 14, 3, it says, and this is Christ talking. He goes, and if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself. That where I am, you may be also. Wow. Yeah. Comforting. That, that is comforting. All this, the past few verses that we've done, the passages that we've done, uh, ending last week, beginning of this week, has been either with Paul's letters of encouragement right. or Christ as he's 
you know, about to ascend into heaven. It's, it's being kind of back to back to back that way. Um, and it's a message of hope, especially for you, you seniors that are now graduated. Congratulations. Um, those who have it on the way coming up. Um, <laughs> but it's a message of hope. Um, let there be no doubt in your mind. From this verse, Christ says it very specifically. If I go, which I am, I'm going to prepare a place for you. That's where I'm going. Okay? So, when you look at this world, when you look at everything the best that this world has to offer, it is not even on the same scale as what we get to experience and have when we get to heaven. Christ is currently preparing a place for us in heaven. It, it doesn't get any better than that. So, your work, Christian, what you're doing right now is not in vain. Strive, run your race, do it vigilant, okay? Run hard because with the goal of heaven in mind, Christ is there, like he said in verse 3, preparing a place for you. You have a Savior, you have an, as we learned long, long, a few weeks ago, um, you have an intercessor that is currently, currently talking to God on your behalf every single day, almost every minute, if, if you can fathom that, of every day, just say, bragging on you, I mean, saying, hey, this is my son, this is my daughter, this is my son, this is my daughter. He is on your side, and he is preparing a place for you. Corey, it doesn't get any better. It doesn't. No, it doesn't. I, I mean, like, like we said right before you started going into that really great um, description of the Scripture, my might add, that was a great job. Um, it's just comforting. That's what I'm thinking when I hear that. I hear When I hear the Scripture, I hear comfort. When I read the story, I hear comfort, even though you gotta, you got you to gotta get taken to a place where you can kind of fathom just how hard it can get in life sometimes. And that's what I think about when I read this story for today. It talks about a man who, who sends his, uh, his family. Actually, he leaves Mexico to go into uh, the United States to make a better life. Leaves his family behind. They have to cross back the border themselves. And the young girl, we're talking about how she remembers crossing the border, losing sight of her, of her mother and stuff like that. And then, uh, But only to be reunited. And that's the, the, the promise we have from, from, from God. In the scripture is and in the story we also are told you know we're going to be reunited with him in his kingdom one day yes. and along the way the journey is hard but we always have to remember that we are going to be reunited and he is always there with us and it's just that whole the story the scripture everything i'm thinking comfort it's just comforting to hear that um so i would encourage you viewers to when you know and this again it might sound redundant at times but when, when you're going through hard times in life whatever it is whenever you think there's not a way out it's not, we've, we've told you to focus on the end result, which this is what we're doing today too, but just remember that the reunification with God one day in His kingdom is what it's all about, and you can rest, you can sleep soundly with that, and you can know that that's going to happen. And um, the journey is meant to be tough, especially when you start out, you know, re, re, you know rededicating your life for Christ. Sometimes that, that's, the, that's the start of things getting harder for you because you're trying to now walk in these new Christian shoes you've just, you know, put on and walk this new path, and it's going to be a little different for you, but just just know that everything's going to work out. Your labor is not in vain. That's Your right. Your labor is not in vain. You have to work for it, like yeah. anything mm -hmm. else. A Christian walk, you have to work You have to work hard for it. It is something, because you're, you're giving away everything you knew, essentially. Yeah. You're giving away everything you knew. Like, you know, you, you were, the things that you needed, the bondage, the vices, all these, the chains that you couldn't break, now they're broken, and you're learning to walk in this new body, yeah. in this new mind, so to speak. And it's hard. It is hard, and you're going to stumble. Yeah. There's going to be some roots. There's going to be some some sticks, some rocks. There's, there's going to be things to trip you up, and you will trip. You will fall many, many times, I promise you. However, if you focus on the end result and you realize what you're doing it for, God's with you along the way. He expects you to fall. These things were, were imperfect. That's why, and, and He understood that when we were created and when we first when we first wronged and when we first sinned. This was all understood which is why we had Jesus come on the scene. And now, guess what, guys? We're given grace, and we can tackle this. We can do this life. He knows we can. He has faith in us, so we should have faith in Him. Yep. Paul, Paul, the Apostle Paul called it a daily struggle with the flesh. He said he had to die daily to the flesh. It is crazy um, that somebody who was entrusted to write 70% of the New Testament could have these um, very open conversations with the people he was leading, these churches, um, and, and just say, you know, I daily I go through these battles right now. Yeah. Um, so it's real. We understand that. We go through it, and it, it's hard. 
up, you know, these roots. That's a good point you made because the roots have been established for years and years, and now you're on this new life. Thank God we don't have to rely on our own works to get to heaven. Yep. That it, it is only through Christ alone. And, you know, um, so let's be honest, it's, we, could, it's we awesome. couldn't do it. We no, could not. You There's no way we could do heaven. it. There's no way you would get to heaven without God, without Jesus. without You would not do it. You can't do it without getting saved, for one thing. I myself, I'm telling you, I'm humbling myself right now. I cannot do it. And I know that no one else can do it. So admitting that and then seeking Christ and just, you know, being, uh, I guess, lenient with yourself. For your, with yourself. And what, by that, what I mean is don't be so hard on yourself. Realize this road is hard and this, this journey is long and it's a struggle. Accept it, embrace it, and, and, and look to Christ. Seek Christ in everything you do. Yep. Faith in Christ alone. Awesome. Chris, thank you. Yes, thank you for joining us, man. Thank you for this has been good. The ladies have been. Uh, so, Chris is um, J.H. Rose. They've already started their foot. Yeah, I mean, you, you, you can't even fathom. We, they just got out of school on Friday, and they're, they're already started doing uh, football training and all that for next year. It's a big deal around here. So, without further ado, Corey. Uh, oh, God, I sense another. For, I, for I, a I'm very right. good episode, oh, I want to give you that, me. sir. You did oh, it. Oh, thank wow. you. It's for an episode of Greatness, Chris. Chris. You, too, did an episode. You came in first, so, Corey, I'm sorry. You came thank in. You. You That's came in fine. I, I deserve second place today. Everybody gets a trophy. I told you the road was long and it's going to trip you up. I got tripped today and I got second place. I won't cry. I, won't, I will not cry. I'm not going to cry on film. I'm hey, some you. people we need to thank, Corey. Yes. Right Randall House. Here. Randall, Randall House. House. D6. The AC just dripped right on Chris. <laughs> and he could not <laughs> see it. You gotta work That's through cool. that stuff. All right, Randall House, thank you. D6 yes. down below. Hey, we love the content. We got the new magazines. It is great. Hey, we love y'all. Hey, Dominion Wrestling interest meeting tonight. 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 Dominion tonight. Wrestling. Temple, so. six o'clock. Right here. Be here. I know people watch this. I've been told <laughs> you will come to this interest meeting and bring your children. Thank you. It's free. It's free. It's free. free. It's free, dude. Who doesn't love free? Who does I mean? not I love, I free? love free? I like free. I like free. People like free, I hear. All right, so come. Hey, tomorrow we will see you bright and early. Absolutely. Six o'clock in the morning, Tuesday morning. Or if you show up for to drop your kid off or to be here for the first wrestling um, meeting tonight, then you'll see us tonight. We're not practicing yet. Not practicing yet. Just going over what we're going to be going over. Sign some papers. Cool. So if you come to the wrestling thing, we'll see you tonight. Otherwise, we'll see you at six o'clock in the morning. Yes. Cool. Good. Ready? Great, grand, wonderful. He's got your hand. You gonna make me switch hands? We're woo, 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 Hey, this is Chris. Chris is joining us. Hi. 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 Chris makes me seem small. Chris is buff. I've got a beautiful bronze.